By the end of this lecture, you will be able to understand what is a disaster, to identify types of disasters, to understand causes and effects of natural disasters, to understand causes and effects of human-made disasters. A disaster is a sudden accident or a natural catastrophe that causes great damage or loss of life. There are two types of disasters. Natural disasters such as earthquakes and tsunami and human-made disasters or what we call environmental disasters such as nuclear reactor explosions and global warming. Earthquakes are one of the causes of natural disasters. An earthquake is a sudden tremor or movement of the Earth's crust, which originates naturally at or below the surface. The word natural is important here, since it excludes shock waves caused by man-made explosions and landslides caused by construction work. So, what do you think will happen when an earthquake occur? There may be fires loss of lives of humans or even animals due to the destruction and building damage caused by earthquake. An earthquake may also cause tidal waves that lead to tsunami, flooding, broken gas lines and destruction of roads and bridges. Another natural disaster is the tsunami. The word tsunami is a Japanese term that means harbor wave. It is a dramatic effect of certain types of earthquakes, as we said before, submarine landslides or volcanic deformation as a result of sudden vertical offset in the ocean floor. The second type of disaster is the human-made or environmental disaster. The environmental disaster is a disaster occurring to the natural environment due to human activity on the contrary to natural disasters in which man has no role. Environmental disasters include nuclear reactor explosions and global warming. Regarding the nuclear reactor explosion, it occurs as a result of either a rapid release of energy from an intentionally high-speed nuclear reaction, which may occur for destruction purposes as in nuclear wars. It may occur when a nuclear reactor is not properly maintained or when there is a structural failure of some critical component of the reactor, which we call meltdown. Atmospheric nuclear explosions are associated with mushroom clouds, which is a distinctive mushroom-shaped cloud of condensed water vapor or debris resulting from a very large explosion. However, it is possible to have an air-burst nuclear explosion without these clouds. Nuclear explosions produce radiation and radioactive debris. Another environmental disaster is the global warming. Global warming is a continuing rise in the average temperature of Earth's atmosphere and oceans. Global warming is caused by increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, resulting from human activities such as deforestation and burning of fossil fuels. Greenhouse gases are air pollutants that traps heat and light coming from the sun in the Earth's atmosphere by forming a layer surrounding the Earth and thus increasing its temperature. The primary greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane gas, nitrous oxide, and ozone. So, what do you think would happen as a result of global warming? The high Earth's temperature will cause melting of ice at the North and South Poles, which makes the sea level rises, and thus, Water will cover many low land islands. This is a big problem for many of the plants, animals and people living on those islands. Water will cover plants leading to their death. When plants die, 
animals lose an important source of food along with their habitat. Although animals have a better ability to adapt to what happens than plants do, they may die also. When plants and animals die, people lose two main sources of food, plant food and animal food. They may also lose their homes. As a result, they would also have to leave the area or die. Another effect of global warming is directly on plants. Crops and plants have an optimum atmospheric temperature to be cultivated. Those plants will not grow if this temperature increases and thus changing the cultivated plant's distribution. The distribution of communicable diseases will also change worldwide due to changes in climate, making some areas which were suitable to vectors of diseases become unsuitable. For example, malaria, which is endemic in hot humid areas of Africa, could be found in other areas after the increase in its temperature as a result of global warming. It may also disappear from those previously endemic areas. Non-communicable diseases as chest and cardiac diseases may also be affected.